Hello, everybody, and good evening. My name is Sora Darkchild, and welcome back to Let's Replay Splatoon 2. I've been kind of lacking on this game since, well, I've been lacking on a lot of other games lately, but I've mostly been busy for this one because I've been really busy with the Mega Man Legacy Collection, wanting to get through all 10 games of the Mega Man games before Mega Man 11 comes out. And based on the pace I'm doing for that series, I have a feeling I'll probably make it to the deadline. But the reason I decided to continue this now is because by the time this video gets up, it'll be the release day for, you guessed it, the Octo Expansion and DLC for Splatoon 2, where you can play as an Octoling. And I'm really hyped up and excited for that one. So, as we continue through this level, I'll still be trying to get all of the uh, sunken scrolls. But, we're going to be trying to make this a speed run for each of the uh, worlds we're in. And we're going to do them all in order, of course. And without me rambling anymore, let's just get on with it. Oh, and our first level has a Sheldon request. New to this game, you get Sheldon requests, which means for the very first time you go through these levels, you have to use a specific weapon he wants you to use for that level. What is he going to have us use for this level? It is... The roller! Okay, take this with you. This is the hero roller. Here, you can fling a big wall of ink while you're on the ground with ZR. Or you can press ZR in midair and fling a longer, narrow stream of ink. You can also hold ZR while moving to roll ink all over the ground. Which is what I'll mostly be doing for this area. And it's not too long ago since I've done this game twice. Once is male and another is female. So... I'm not worried about where I might be able to find those uh, sunken scrolls. As long as I keep turning the cameras, we should be able to find it, no problem. what we needed, but okay. Now quickly get out of that ink. It'll hurt ya. Ow. Good armor. We're gonna need that. Just speed through this as fast as you can. Don't worry about oh, your armor her being lost or anything like that. Take out this big guy up here. As well as him. I think I know where the uh, scroll is. It's pretty close to the end, I think. And cool thing for that, we were able to knock that enemy's uh, attack right back at him. For those that haven't played this game and didn't know that. Go. 
Now let's... There it is. There's that sunken scroll. Take out that enemy in the back, and then let's go get out of here. Don't worry about the others. Final checkpoint. This one, you're pretty much mandatory to do it. And that was not Pearl Marie. I'm usually all, I usually do a lot better than that. Final checkpoint. Got careless. That's not happening again. It takes care of you and you. Now I need to regenerate my armor. There we go. we go. And I'm not going for the fastest time through these levels. I mean, you can try to break your record and go for a faster time limit if you want to on your off time. Let me check your weapon log. Yep, data's coming through. Oh man, this is really good stuff. The more data you get from me, the quicker I can finalize my retail version. So keep it up. We now use that as our on-the-go weapon. This looks to be a do-it-yourself guide for starting your own mobile business. It looks new. But somebody must have been frying something near it. It has some grease stains on it. I'm guessing that's where that, uh... That prawn guy got his business. Now on to the next area. And I forget what weapon he's doing next. Oh yeah, it's my personal favorite, the dualies. I know how to deal with these. I'm not gonna read everything Sheldon says. I like the guy for giving me information, but it's really annoying for her when he doesn't know when to shut up. don't need to worry about the uh, scroll being a bit late to find in this level because it's pretty much at the end. Work your way up there if you want to collect yourself a, uh, a ticket to temporarily upgrade Whatever that was, it was going to upgrade. I mostly like doing these. They're fun. Plus, it's a good way to get a lot of... Uh, a lot of those energy eggs used to upgrade your weapon. I'm mostly going to be using it to upgrade one weapon and my tank. That's it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and congratulations to the team that won that Splatoon tournament. <laughs> that was really awesome. Um, to watch. Now, let's clear you guys out. That takes care of them. And now, to get that scroll. It's right over there. Yeah. I'm really good when I'm doing the uh, dualies. They're my go-to weapon for the male characters. What am I go to for the female? Well, you're gonna have to wait till the next area for that one. This looks like a get rich quick scheme by some shady guy with crazy hair. Her I made a cool one hundred 10 million gold hold in a year just sitting around. Ask me now, do people really fall for this bridge? Bilge? That blurred out character looks like Spike. Anyways, on to the net. Oh, fudge. Oh. <laughs> I know what weapon we're gonna use here. Which means, turn on the motion controls. <sighs> the charger, her sniper rifle. I hate those weapons. I cannot work those things to save my life. Now, why am I not aiming up? That's more like it. Now then. The more and longer you charge it up, the farther the shots will go. To take care of the guys, he's inside those blimps. Aim for the guys in the head of those blimps. I'm only gonna go for the, uh, Sunken scroll for this level. I can get the energy gauge itself in here as well, but that's. I'm not worth it. I'm not gonna go for the hassle on that one. So let's get a move on. Trust me, the faster we get through this level, the better. That was lucky. Now, I need to wait till that blimp gets close enough. Okay, let's go.
when I first did this level, it was... I found this a bit tricky for what you had to do for finding the scroll of this level. First thing we gotta do... Hit that target over there. Now we can work our way up. Jump down here, and take this grinder. And it's in that box right up there. You want to grab it before you fire yourself back down here. Also, before I do, just to save time... That was a waste of ink right there. Okay, we're almost out of the woods. Destroy him, and then up we go, and we gotta get on that platform. Final checkpoint, which is pretty much the hardest part for me here. We want to get on this platform, get as close as you can just to get that, and sling yourself up there. I made that look a lot easier than it should be. It usually takes me 10 or 20 tries to get up there. Now I can switch the uh, controls back. Do not want to do that again. But unfortunately, we're going to have to sometime later in this playthrough with another weapon. Or with the same weapon. What could have happened to the two ember... He's... He's no matter how one loves... There are always different aims. Love can take a great many forms, whatever the era. Turn the motion control off now. And next level. What weapon are we using here? Oh, we're back to the hero shock. Good. That's a common weapon for this. And if you're lucky, you can make that machine thing down there your ally instead of your enemy. depending on how quick you are for certain events. Come here! Too late, he spotted me.
Got one of your eggs. Okay, sunken scroll is over here somewhere. It's over where that octopus is, I think. But of course, we're gonna have to deal with them. Damn it. If you're not careful or quick enough, that thing will kill you. And that's no joke. Alright, you. Get me over there. Oh no, that's not where it is. Where did it go? There it is! Now we gotta get on that thing again just to process. Uh, continue. You there, machine! Get over here! save us some time later. Rotten. Work yourself all the way up to back here, and then very quickly, as you're using your paint, get over there again. All we gotta do is just get through the rest of this level, as we're at the final checkpoint. And there's the key to set this thing free. Right on his back. But take care of the enemies up above. Yeah, their shields are not going to be protecting them this time. Now, somehow we got to get him over there so that I can climb up. That ought to do it. Sometimes takes forever to get there. Hmm. 
Many travelers find themselves in Inkopolis Square her at some point in their journey. Youth from far flung hung sea gather her in this colorful hub of comings, goings, meetings, and farewells. Next up is my favorite of the levels. I know this level like the back of my hand. And we're stuck with the uh, hero shot for this one. I can make quick work of this one. Especially in finding that uh, sunken scroll that we're gonna need to continue. Those things can be useful for upgrades. It's nice to grab at least one or two along the way while you're at it. This one's actually pretty clever for where the uh, sunken scroll is in this area. You just gotta do this. And stay on that one. And there you go. The sunken scroll is ours. Time for the finishing level. Jump up here. And spin this. And we hop into this cannon. Just open fire at everything. You might want to take out these sprinklers as well. Going up. Inkopolis holds its famous card, her game tournament, once a year. This year, first time entrant, Jeff Jelfonzo, appeared on the scene and promptly set out dismantling the, competition, dismantling the competition. He walked away with the first place trophy. Well, good for him. Now for the last uh, level, and it's a uh, inkling turf war battle. Who are my teammates? Nobody. It's just yourself. I can never remember where the uh, sunken scroll is for this area, so I wind up having to ink everything. First of all, let's start off in our area. 
and splatter that uh, octoling right here in front of me. There we go. Two more. Seven more. Six more, and I see you behind me. Don't think I didn't. Definitely upgrading my tank after this. Oh, there it is. Now I can continue without any problems. Where do you think you're going? Can't defend yourself from me. Other players can, but not them. They're programmed to fight. Hello, goodbye. Four more to go. And I think there's one this way. Hello, Octoling. Goodbye, Octoling. There's... One all the way back over there? How did I miss that one? Now, let's get back on track here. Where's the second to last one? The last one's right here. Oh, and you're a commander. Is there one I missed? There's one right there. I saw you coming. There you are. And I think I took out the commander, so... We shouldn't have any problems with this one. And now it's time for boss number two. And I know for a fact that the first time you fight him, you have to use the uh, roller, that steamroller ability. Net the freshest gear around, Get the abilities you've always dreamed about. Orders will be fulfilled by w that weird kid with the spiky hair. Interested? Send inquiries to Annie. Okay, in we go. Let us begin boss number two. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ran out of ink before he could, uh, before he did that. But not this time. If we're lucky, we'll be able to finish him off very quickly. That one was my mistake. Let's get over there and finish him. Finish. Ew, that was kind of insane. Great work, Agent 4. Maybe it's just me, but Octarine's base feel like they've been given a feminine touch. Maybe they got a new director? Run. Lee. Now. Huh? This radio's on the fritz. It's, I swear I just changed the batteries in this thing. Actually, there is a likely radio interference in Octo Canyon. All the junk around there is probably given off electrostatic. <laughs> See, a lot of con consumer products use a frequency he called CP band. And microwave ovens and prime culprits? In fact, my micro... You're breaking up, Sheldon. I'm going through the, a tunnel in an elevator. Baker's Depot. And I will be cutting it off here for Let's Replay Splatoon 2.
when we come back, we will be doing this area, Sector 3. I'll get this area as a sunken scroll off screen because this one's a tad bit annoying. But not quite as much as number 5 or 6, 4 or 5 are. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you want. Ring that bell to be notified when the next part for this and part one of uh, Octo Expansion comes out. And I will see you next time in the next video. This is Sora Darkchild, signing off. Have a good night, folks.